today on what to do we are going to remove seven blade reel on a Jacobson LF 3400 fairway mower. This is the reel right here and I had already taken off the bed knife and the rollers. That was pretty much self-explanatory. I believe if you came here for the video you're more concerned about how to remove all this and get this reel out of here. There's a lot of nuts and bolts here. I'm not going to video me actually taking the bolt off. However, I'm going to tell you what I'm taking off and video those steps. We're going to want to get this shield off of here. Um, shield goes around the back. There's a uh, Phillips head here. There's one on the other side, but underneath, let's see if we can get under there. There's a uh, nut on each side. And not sure what size that nut is. A lot of times these get replaced by prior mechanics and they use different nuts and bolts. I'm going to use an adjustable and a Phillips head take that shroud off. I got my nuts and bolts off each side of the shroud. Now you just want to pull this out very carefully. Like so. Set that aside. Now you're going to have a lot of nuts and bolts on this project. So what you want to do with the uh, nuts and bolts that you took out of that shroud is I would either go ahead and put them back on here or you can put them back through the holes that you uh, took them out of which is where our gear motor connects and we have one two three four bolts there and four nuts on the back you will need a hold back for back here this is a half inch and I have a half inch there and we're gonna need a half inch wrench for that side. Our nuts and bolts are out of here. So don't start trying to pry this off because it isn't gonna come off that easy yet because we have a, you can see, that little lock clip in there, that little C-clip. So we're gonna have to get our clip pliers out of here and uh, remove that. This is what you need. All right, well, I had a hell of a time getting that clip out. It actually bent on me and was kind of jammed in there. So between using a pick to try to bend it and pull it out, uh, I took this punch here and I was able to bang it underneath of it and pry up. All right, now, this may not pry out very easy, okay? You'll probably sit there and you'll probably try to pry this thing and it's going to be very difficult. All right. Now, you can take this grease fitting off. However, there is little holes around here where if you can get this to turn, that fitting will slide out that hole right there. Now, this is probably going to be very, very tight on you. And be very careful with this step that I'm about to show you. All right. I have a hammer and you want to tap lightly on one side of this and lightly back the other way. Lightly on one side of this and lightly back the other way. That will free this up and get it to start spinning. Okay, I almost had that hole there. But you don't want to hit so hard that you break these now. So be very careful, very gentle. All right, we need to go a little bit more. And we're pretty much there. There. Now that fitting will be able to slide out of that groove rather than remove it. Or you could just remove it before and you could try to pull the, uh, pry this out without having to worry about that. I don't want a pulley such as this. You can get these typically at Napa. Uh, maybe your local hardware store or whatever, but Napper, AutoZone, somebody like that should have these types of pullers. And uh, you want to hook it on there, and you are just going to crank this, and it's going to slowly pull this out. Doing it with a screwdriver and trying to pry it, it's very, very difficult and highly unlikely you're going to get it out. Get yourself a pulley like this. And there it is. A couple cranks on the pulley, and it came right out. You can see your uh, bearing in there. Okay, the race is uh, still inside there. 
and this is your bearing. So now we're coming over to this side. We have this side free and clear. Over here, you're gonna have a bolt here, and on the other side, you're gonna have a bolt here. That's gonna remove this cover. Underneath of this cover, you're gonna have the same thing you kind of had on that side with the bolts, uh, but you gotta get these two off first. Got those bolts loosened. That's off. Now you can see on this side, get a little rag here and clean this up. All right, so basically the way this is going to work is you're going to have a bolt right here. You got to take this bolt off. This is a sleeve right here. And then this sleeve will come off and then you're going to need to get an adjustable or a wrench on this and this piece unscrews out. We got them off. And when you set them down, set them down in the order that they go back on or take a lot of pictures so you don't forget and set them out of the way there. All right, now this piece will slide off here. Okay, and it looks like a bunch of grease here, but underneath of this is going to be a spring. Let's see if I can clean it up so you can see. And this spring will pull off just like that. And you want to set them down in that order also the rest of your stuff up here now that the spring is off we have a bearing here so if you're not able to actually pull that out what you can do is you can push on this reel and it will help there it goes it will help push that bearing forward there we go it's hard to do it one hand you can slide that out and that bearing is uh, pretty loose there so that's gonna need to be replaced and while you're doing all this anyway just go ahead and replace the bearings you don't want to have to dig back in here again all right but put that back in line in the order that all this other stuff came out so now we're up to taking this off same thing as the other side you want to take this uh, puller here and put it on there and for sake of the video i had already uh put it up there and pulled it out so try to speed it up and then you can just slide this right out make sure your oh our fitting has to line up in the back there there we go and you can slide that right out all right and put that in the order with the other stuff in the way it's going to go back together all right now the reel you will be able to tilt up on this side and there it is Ugh. and that is how you remove a reel on the Jacobson LF 3400 and that's it I know somewhere out in the world this video helped somebody and if it's you please hit subscribe below that'll help me out a lot I'm trying to get my subscribers up give me a like and I'll see you guys next time